but uh, like I said, it was about 80 yards out in the wood line, and then it came in about 60 yards from this edge of that field, and came over right to my tree, keep my climber where I normally have it, but I took it down. This tree, this very tree right here, I keep my climber and you can see where it had, it had been rubbing its hands along the tree like that, going like this, and smelling its fingers, um, smelling the tree, it would look like it's biting the bark almost. Um, but, I mean, these are not, this is not a bear mark. Bears drag their, their claws vertically. This is horizontal, like it was intentionally trying to pull the bark off. Um, and when I was a kid, the guy that, owned, that used to own my house would let us hunt up here, archery hunt. And he was he would move he had a ho home here and in Florida, and he would go to Florida every fall right when our tree season started. And uh, it was right around ten years ago when we first moved in here. Well, I'm down you know down the road a ways. Um, you know I was still living with my parents. Uh, there's a tree around here. I can't remember exactly which one it is, but uh, I had a stand in it. And this whole opening here, this whole mini field here was was uh, a lot of new growth, uh, young oaks. Um, it was a lot thicker than it is right now. And uh, there was always this trail that ran through here. And, uh, you know, I mean, I figured it was a deer trail, but there was always broken branches on the trees and stuff on this trail and I never knew what was doing it but uh, you know thinking back on it now I mean I wonder if it was this thing whatever it is Bigfoot Sasquatch whatever you want to call it but uh, I've got my trail cam set up now in different locations I already got a beat on my deer in these woods so now I'm going to focus on trying to get this thing on camera. See if I'm not successful with that. So that's uh, that's about it. If I get any, uh, any other information or anything, I'll let you guys know.